oh i specifically bookmarked this because of the the videos okay but i think uh, valentine law is do i have it uh this is no i thought i no people probably retweet it out okay so let's read what valentine law says and then um cover that one okay he has 677 uh comment under that okay so that's valentine law fascinating story by at victoria word the question is okay 23 hours so they started the smear campaign almost uh, a date from the time i'm recording now fascinating story by at victoria word the question is why does the sussex camp want to leak all this so he started that nonsense is it megan trying to prevent an outbreak of peace between harry and his father and and triggering that they should resort to the sort of briefing that they condemn and others wow so they started the nonsense oh my god you s this is the way this thing went couple days ago the telegraph put a video out i think it's a youtube video of that uh woman that who's laughing with andrew since spare came out we've barely seen her We've written pieces saying it's interesting that she's kept such a low profile during the promotional tour for her husband's book. Doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? My colleague Victoria Ward wrote a piece saying that she kind of wanted Harry to own that and took a step back from it. My other colleague Gordon Rain has written a piece saying that she's concentrating on the three P's, which is planning, parenting and podcasting. And she's in the background planning this relaunch. I had spotted that she had, we think, kind of reinvigorated her Instagram feed at Megan has been relaunched but she hasn't posted anything on it yet and there's this idea that she's going to do this kind of Martha Stewart meets Kim Kardashian thing online of relaunching the TIG which was her old lifestyle blog and then ramping up her social media. Why didn't Megan come to the coronation? Why didn't Megan come to the coronation? Today is April 23rd, 2023. It is 3.50 a.m. Why didn't Megan come to the coronation? A guest standing in front of the camera talking some nonsense. Now he comes in and then retweeted that Telegraph article with this straight up freaking nonsense making it about megan is it megan trying to prevent an outbreak of peace between harry and his father and and triggering that they should resort to the sort of briefing that they condemn and others wow no wonder why he was doing his moonwalking jeez okay Given that legal letters been sent by the Sussex's lawyers as well as the palace. Oh my God. He continued with the lies. I wasn't reading them. I was taking screenshot for you guys. Oh my God. Okay. Given that letters have been sent by the Sussex's lawyers as well as the palace since the story was published. My God, it seems I was wrong in assuming that it came from the Sussex camp. Sorry to all about that. But even more intriguing. Yeah. My God, my God, my God. I, how, how cool those adults lying to the public like this? Now he retracted his thing. Now he's saying he's sorry okay there's this here now this is the one that i book more nobody with sense believe your crap which was clearly coordinated is the palace that leaked to the press propagandist as you yourself admitted all right so let's listen to some of the thing we were getting uh, briefings that all was not well with the relationship between william and harry megan and kate <gasps> and the relationship that's her that i was uh, talking about her who stood in front of the camera a couple of days ago with um using telegraph lo logos saying some nonsense i already edited that video already so i don't know which video it's in between harry and Meghan and the royal household something weird started happening around about now some people 
were clearly talking to journalists about what was going on with the Duchess of Sussex. How reliable is this information? And where was it coming from? You're never going to get a journalist to reveal their sources. I'm not even being specific about who was briefing, but what hmm. I'm saying is, if you're suddenly hearing a lot of chatter about things not being well behind palace gates, you sort of take it seriously because normally everything's leveled off and things are played down and you hear a little bit of chatter and then you go and investigate further and you hear more chatter, that suggests that something is going down. This is not the... So something is going on in the palace with all those nonsense. It's like since I was on vacation. It's every freaking week. There's nonsense. Well, not every freaking week. Every day. Something, some nonsense is going on on, uh, on Twitter with these royal rats. How the hell do they? Oh, my Lord. Okay, so there's Valentine Lowe now. Okay, this person who tweeted now, he's backtracking with nonsense that he said. So let's listen. The official machine briefing stuff. This is people leaking stories who may be one removed from the central action. I don't know, uh, two removed even, or Possibly they're right at the centre of the action. They're being very naughty. Um, who knows? Wow. Okay, let's continue. Stories have been briefed to different people. Oh, it's finished. All right, so there's this here. Ah. It's a fact that every... Ah, what the hell? And if it comes from Kensington Palace, right. why are they briefing against their own grandson. Well, uh, okay, that's a very, the, the idea... Why are there never any... Well, I think that's fascinating. ...about Prince William? Well, Jeremy. William and Kate involved in, in briefing against them originally, I don't know. So is it normal for, uh, and do you think it's true, that what some of the royal households have been leaking on the other royal households, like Meghan and Harry? Well, oh, without a doubt. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they can deny it all they like to their blue in the face, but they, there's been an awful lot of leaking from, particularly from Kensington Palace, about how things were uh, were developing, and that was a, a palace that both of them were representing. You know, being represented by the same people. And obviously, it's so much easier for them to blame anything uncomfortable on racism, rather than actually address the fact that much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. You just explain, what was the significance of the witness statement from Ed Verity, better known as Ted Verity? Ted Verity, the editor of the Mail on Sunday, said in his signed witness statement that um, he had been given information that helped support Associated's case. He said this information came from a senior palace source and he said in his witness statement this was, quote, not gossip or tittle-tattle. What does that mean? What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. That the Mail on Sunday had the ruling against them in February and they were then appealing it. So it was lawyers from the Mail on Sunday who would have approached Jason Naff knowing that these emails and messages existed. Mm. That would have been the point and unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. We were getting briefings that all was not well. We were getting briefings <sighs> that all was not well. All right, we listened to the... Oh, the come on. Okay, so I let it all play out. Hopefully YouTube, I don't know. Don't. I'll put a screenshot just to be safe because I don't have time to do uh, re editing. William and Harry. All right, so I let it play out. While it, those videos, video clips were being played, I was thinking the amount of time and energy is spent on nonsense. Can you imagine if they use that time to help the people? This is crazy. This is purely crazy. And at the same time, I was thinking about Princess Diana. She was fighting these people all by herself. Do you really believe that a campaign was being waged against you? Yes, I did. Absolutely. Yeah. Why? Mm, 
I was a separated wife of the Prince of Wales. I was a problem, full stop. Never happened before. What do we do with her? Can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm. her? She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end. Well, from people who minded and cared about our marriage, yes. What effect did that have on you? Pretty devastating. Rampant bulimia, if you can have rampant bulimia, and just a feeling of being no good at anything and being useless and hopeless and failed in every direction. People were, when I say people, I mean friends on my husband's side were indicating that I was, again, unstable, um, sick, and should be put in an, a home of some sort in order to get better. I was almost an embarrassment. Do you think he really thought that? all by herself and she won but once she left that circus the campaign was in that point was being successful but it did surprise the, the people who were causing the grief it did surprise them when I took myself out of the game they hadn't expected that once she left that circus they went after her. And I'm a great believer that you should always confuse the enemy. Who was the enemy? was my husband's department. I mean, all I could say is um, that, uh, I mean, there is no truth in, in, in so much of this speculation. And uh, um, Mrs. Barker Bowles is a great friend of mine. I have a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends who I think are wonderful. And, uh, make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise. And she has been a friend for a very long time, and uh, along with a lot of other friends, and will continue to be a friend for a very long time. Because I always got more publicity, um, my work was, m was discussed much more than him, and you know, from that point of view I understand it. My work was m m was discussed much more than him, and you know, from that point of view, I understand it. But I was doing good things, and I wanted to do good things. I was never going to hurt anyone. I was never going to let anyone down. But you really believe that it was out of jealousy that they wanted to undermine you? I think it was out of fear, because here was a strong woman doing her bit, and where was she getting her strength from to continue? There was always conflict on that subject, and I understood that conflict because it's a very demanding role, being Prince of Wales, but it's equally a more demanding role, being King. The amount of time and energy is spent on nonsense. Can you imagine if they use that time to help the people? This is crazy. This is purely crazy. And at the same time, I was thinking about Princess Diana. She was fighting these people all by herself, all by herself. And she won, but once she left that circus, they went after her. 